Okay, so we were talking about um, uh, a few remedies in the insect family and uh, we spoke about apis, we spoke about um, cocos cacti and uh, we also spoke about a few more remedies. So let's talk about a uh, little more remedies about uh, the insect family. One of the very interesting remedies in insect family is blata, blata orientalis, that is the Indian cockroach we call it as. And um, it's very interesting because this remedy was actually quite accidentally proved. And the situation was that a gentleman who had asthma, who after taking tea in which he found a lot of insects, got cured of the asthma. And then he thought maybe the kind of products of tea in a, 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 with the insect probably cured the asthma. And that is how we came to know about the medicinal properties of cockroach, that is blata. And I want to tell you my friends, many of these homeopathic remedies have been in this way, clinically, accidentally uh, proved. And we have to be open for such kind of observations in future also. And later on in Kolkata, Dr. D. N. Ray did a thorough proving of uh, this remedy and uh, most of the literature we have is from here. Now let's try to understand this remedy. It's a very important remedy for asthma mainly. Hmm? Um, very often you will see that uh, the patient constitution is a little bit like calcarea cow. But there's a lot of sensitivity to molds, leaves and dust like bromium, like lysinum. And slightest exertion aggravates. Whenever you see obesity and asthma with a patient who says he has problems on ascending the stairs or anything like that, think about the remedy blood. It's a top remedy for asthma. And very often I have used this remedy remarkably in case of asthma with beautiful results. One of my favorite materia medicas is a, a remedy called, a book called as Alexander Blackwood. Uh, pharmacodynamics of homeopathic materia medica and what what he does blackwood does is he explains every remedy and he explains the pathophysiology and this is very lesser known in homeopathy he does that and i really uh, like this book a lot and he explains how blata works in the bronchioles lippy has a very peculiar indication where asthma is especially at night when lying down and this is where I have seen when arsenic fails in case of asthma, think about blata. Mm, Alright, so this is what I wanted to talk to you about blata, but I want to now take you to the next level. And what is about the next level? Let's see. The state of mind of blata. Now, this is not something you will see in any literature. I have myself studied this remedy in depth and now I have been using this remedy with uh, very interesting results. Blata patients, when they talk, they are very abrupt, a little bit like tarantula. S abrupt, sudden. They will just come sit in front of, hey, come on. This is the way they will, they will just, you are talking to someone, they will talk in between. Very meddlesome, very snappish. They kind of don't have an ego and they are quite, in that way, without thinking anything, they will just speak in between. Sometimes give you idea of hyosiamas. The other very peculiar thing about um, Blata is that um, they also have a little bit of state of mind like Natsomika where uh, they get irritable at smallest of things but especially they don't like to be questioned. If you ask them, okay, so what are you going to eat today? And they'll be like, get out of here. Get out of here. So they will not like to be questioned. And they cannot tolerate other people talking. That is also their sensitivity. But the main center, the main center which I have used uh, this remedy in which I want to tell you is especially with appreciation the one thing blata needs is appreciation they need to hear good things about themselves almost you know many times I like to call blata as the animal palladium they have a state of mind like palladium and they constantly feel that they are not appreciated why am I not appreciated 
Why people don't talk good things about me? What's wrong with me? What is my problem? They cannot take being criticized. They cannot take being questioned. They cannot take being insulted. The only difference between Blata and I feel a Palladium is that while Palladium is very creative, Blata is very busy and restless and there is an element of jealousy. More than jealousy, an element of enviousness. There is a very interesting rubric in the repertory. Envy when others are admired. So if you if you speak good things about someone else in front of them, they cannot take it. They just cannot take it. And this is a very important quality of Blata. And they also have a they also have a feeling that they are going to be someone big. So they have a delusion enlarged, they have the delusion floating. They feel they are big in that way. But the sensitivity is criticism and appreciation. Uh, the other thing which I saw, one of the cases which did very well with Blata in my clinic was um, there was a lot of feeling of threat. A lot of feeling of someone from behind will come and rape. Someone will do something to me. This is very strong. That someone will kind of come from behind, rape me, manipulate me, sexually abuse me. It's very, very prominent. The other feature of Blata is also a little bit of cheapness, lewdness, obsceneness in Blata. One of the patients who received Blata in my clinic was a person who was very cheap and who was very very lewd would make vulgar remarks talk very badly and very shameless in a way you know i had given him hyoshyamus and at some point fluoric acid but it didn't help and blata matched the picture beautifully so the way i tell you you also have to compare remedies a lot materia medica is about differentiating remedies And if clients come to you, you often see how they talk with you, how they talk with the reception. I often found Blata patients very quarrelsome, especially with the reception. They will fight, they will scream, they will shout. Very interesting. But there is a sensitivity also towards the social position. Who they are, are they speak or spoken highly about. That's a very strong sensitivity. They are very fast-paced people, like all insect, you know, insect is, this is one of the main uh, mainstay of uh, the remedy belonging to insect family. They are very fast-paced. So for them, everything is very slow, very impatient. Um, another thing that I have seen with uh, Blata is that there is a kind of sensitivity with some family member. There is an aversion towards a family member. There is a kind of hatredness. They can be quite rude toward family members. Like Kali Ayod. That's another thing that you will see. They, they can be quite rude. Like I told you, it's a top remedy for asthma. We are not using this remedy so often. Um, one of the few things that I've seen about asthma of Blata Damp feather is a very strong aggravation. And uh, also odors, dust. And they always like to bend forward like this and they feel better after that. That's that's. These are some important qualities of asthma. But I've also seen a hysterical element in them. And emotions can cause spasms in the chest. So be very, very um, sharp in observing this. So... We should use this remedy more often, I believe. Uh, because many Americans here, I want to tell you also about the American cockroach. And um, we know the Indian cockroach is very important for the um, asthma. But the American cockroach, which is a Blata Americana, is uh, is very important for, for the tropsy, ascites, you know. Patients get just generalized swelling of the feet. We don't know why. They feel... Breathless constantly. In this type of cases, I often use Blata Americana. Although this remedy is lesser proved, but very interesting remedy as well. So now I'm going to uh, um, share with you different different insect remedies and how I use it 
in clinical practice. And then hopefully towards the end I will also tell you about how we can differentiate all the remedies and what is the main theme, what is the main sensation of insect. So now we will talk about Aphis chenopodi glocki. Okay, what is this? Let's try to understand. Um, Dr. Mayer from Germany proved this remedy first time. And what was found, what it is actually a plant louse from Chenopodium glaucum. So it's, it's a lice which is found in the leaf of the tree. And this insect were uh, covered by weight of alcohol and then they were worked on, filtered. What I want to tell you about this remedy is that this is a very, very important remedy clinically for toothaches. And the main keynote of the of this remedy and mainly that is where uh, this remedy is used is toothache where they feel better after sweating. Sweating ameliorate is a very important symptom of toothache in, in this remedy, Chenopodium glocky. And this is the only remedy in this uh, um, uh, rubric. And I want to, you to remember this remedy. Let's go to the next. And I spoke to you about Americana. Let's talk about the next remedy. Very interesting remedy. Uh, the remedy Culex musca, mosquito. Um, this is a mosquitoes and mosquito remedy we have used very often in our clinics here in Mumbai. Generally, when you have to use this remedy, the first thing that you will see in this remedy will be a lot of burning. Patient will describe you that everything is burning, 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 burning. It's just burning. Just burning. The only thing that you expect is burning. When you think of burning, think about Culex. It's a very lesser known remedy, almost like Apis. The rubbing, scratching, everything is like Apis, almost. And typically the mental picture will you will see a person who is very impatient, who can't wait, constantly quarreling, very fear, a lot of fear, fear of death, oh I will die, I will, something will happen. Someone who doesn't want to work anymore, oh I don't want to work anymore. And very busy, scratching, scratching, restless, scratching, fighting, scratching, burning. It doesn't have the jealousy element of Apis as strong. That's what I've seen. Also, this is a very important remedy for frontal headaches. And when you see that, you will see very important Culex. And also vertigo, sudden vertigos. Especially aggravated by sudden motion. Think about um, Because this is a kind of vascular and dropsical remedies most from insect family. It's a very important remedy for mums also. And it's also a very important remedy for eyelid swellings like sty. This is where I've used this remedy a lot, especially in skin cases, Culex. Let's go to the next remedy. We talk about Dorifora. It's also a very interesting remedy. Dorifora is a Colorado beetle, potato bug. It has been proved by Dr. C. Rudin from the US and uh, the live insect had been crushed and then formed. What do we know about this remedy? You will see this now. Now we will try to find a theme and a sensation and burning stinging and you will see that in almost every insect remedy. But typically in Colorado, Doricos, you will see this burning is more in the urinary sphere, like cantharis. Burning sensation, lot of burning, 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 and especially in in children, in children in urinary tract infections. Think about this remedy, remarkable remedy.
the another remedy i want to talk to you about is formica rufa that is ant and i've used this remedy a lot and i will tell you step by step in which cases i've used this remedy this is wood ant red ant and uh, the live insect is crushed in 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 this the main thing it is used i've used it is in arthritis one of the cases i recently saw and um, she was a case of um, whole body rheumatoid arthritis and she came in my clinic and i asked her what happens and she says i have joint pain i said what do you have to do she said the only thing is i have to rub if i rub the affected part i feel better rubbing 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 i said okay no problem describe the sensation she said the sensation is as if a ant is biting as if a ant is biting 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 i feel like crushing that ant so okay what else then she spoke about this acute pains that come and go and uh, she said everything started after she lifted some very heavy weights and while working in the house and i asked her tell me about your nature and temperament and she describes her nature as someone who is very restless i said what do you mean she said i have to keep doing something in the home i have to keep cleaning the whole house i keep cleaning 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 i have to clean i can't sit in one place my hands are always restless i am either cooking food or i am cleaning the utensil i am doing something even at night i'll get up i'll keep cleaning this is the way i am very very restless so on this basis i gave a uh, formica rufa very interesting remedy very restless busy remedy but a main remedy for joint issues especially in acute rheumatism think about this remedy it's also a very important remedy for renal pathologies you have to understand whenever the joints are affected there is at some point the kidney also affected and albuminuria so that's why i've seen many cases of joint and renal issues being connected i also used uh, formica rufa in in cases of stroke where patient have vascular discomfort it's a very important remedy as well and finally if i have to tell you one remedy as a very important remedy for nasal polyp that remedy will have to be formica rufa and it has a tremendous action on nasal polyp and i have seen the best results with it so this is a remedy i want you to apply try and uh, write to me about let's come to the next remedy limentus bredovi that is the butterfly let's talk about this remedy um one of the main things um i want to talk to you about in in this remedy and uh, a lot of this has been written by nancy herrick in human mind animal body and one of the first thing if you see in 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 butterflies is is a kind of um, a, a high spiritedness a, a, a idea of a lot of pleasure a lot of irresponsibility a lot of enjoyment a, a, a lot of idea of no limit a, in fact bordering to the idea of kind of carelessness kind of heedlessness so typically what we have used especially butterfly and uh, this remedy is is for parents who are unwilling or unable to set a limits of safety for their children parents who don't want to think about limits or rules for their children who just want to feel their love for their children people who don't keep any rules regulations people who are just free spirited want to just enjoy no problem no responsibility a little bit like medorina a very very interesting drug picture butterfly <clears throat> this is a remedy which is also interestingly a top remedy for allergic dietesis very very allergic phenomena you could see in this particular remedy one of the main things that came into this this remedy's provings was a feeling of confusion a feeling of inability to think a kind of dullness came when when this remedy was proved one prover put it very nicely it is as if a gear 
as if the gears in my head are filled with thick gluey viscous gunk and they are not moving at all they are just frozen very interesting at the same time there is also orientation towards love love is a very important feature of butterfly a lot of feeling of love a lot of feeling of meeting people a lot of me a feeling of affection friendliness a feeling of wanting to meet people enjoy party don't want any responsibility want to just just break free the feeling of i want to break free and enjoy that kind of state comes up in in the remedy butterfly and that's where the problem starts it's a very interesting remedy and i would want to encourage you to read uh, the book by nancy herrick let's come to the next remedy pediculus capitis or we can say lice okay tell me friends uh, which is a remedy which is very important for lice you know if patients have lice which remedy would you give think okay i'm waiting okay there are three main remedies which i have used clinically one of the very important remedy is staphylococcus top remedy another remedy is dactrum muriatica and finally one remedy which i have used a lot is sabadella so these three are remedies that um, have typical typical action on lice and as we know it is um, head loss you, you know what it is but typically there is a lot of skin eruptions in patients who require this remedy the kind of a itching 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 and eruption on hand feet a kind of eczema but especially i have seen uh, children who i give this remedy having lot of skin eruption then especially unusual aptitude for study and work children who are brilliant sharp who are just too intelligent too precocious for their age or very very sharp especially in these children who can just pick up things very fast who can understand things very fast this remedy is very useful pediculus capitis and we need to think about this remedy in this type of case interesting another remedy which i i use also quite common in india is the remedy pulex that is flea we see in flea market ah uh, mother tincture of the insect is used it's the common flea but the main action again in this remedy is um, which i have seen is in the urinary sphere almost like cantharis i feel a lot of insect remedies have action on skin and urinary organs it is a kind they develop a kind of allergy they have a kind of um, histaminic reaction that they cause where they kind of cause a sudden allergy sudden itching sudden redness sudden affection they cannot retain their urine and they have to pass urine or else the problem start they also have lot of um, uh, menstrual issues where they develop lot of fibroids but one of the peculiarity is that they learn, develop a lot of the staining is very difficult to remove let's come to another remedy this is the wasp that is the vespa also very interesting remedy and uh, this is a wasp from europe and this has also been worked out by a live wasp was was collected and that's how we have formed this remedy and there are different different types of vespa but again in this remedy a lot of skin and female symptoms are there and there's a lot of itching boils wheels burning but the peculiarity is that the burning is better by taking bath by vinegar that is what is seen also it has special action on the female uh, sexual system there is a lot of sexuality in uh, remedies who are from um, from the insect family for example one of the case who i was treating uh, she used to get lot of sexual symptoms and she would get shameless and almost nymphomaniac with urticaria she did very well with apis in very high potency similarly 
um, urination with a lot of burning with especially ovarian cysts you know in polycystic ovarian disease I've used Vespa card it's very interesting for me and uh, mind you if this is a very important remedy for PCOD also polycystic ovarian diseases is very common in India and um, remarkable results with homeopathy and insect remedies I'm using very often so think about this remedy Uh, another thing about uh, the remedy VASPO is it, it causes a chemosis of the eye. So there's a lot of swelling in the eye, burning, swelling. A lot of dizziness also they, they develop in the brain. So this is something about VESPA. Let's come to another remedy. We will talk about the Musca domestica or the common fly. In India we call it as machar. And uh, a lot of proving has been done by Robert Stewart and Susan Sons. And I want to tell you a few of very important themes that I've seen. One of the patients who uh, did very well um, in Musca Domestica and she was a case of depression. And she also had light and planus. And she had a mania for cleanliness. And I would ask her, why? what are you doing? And she would come inside the clinic and start cleaning up the clinic. She would keep things here, she would keep things there. She said, I'm maniacal towards cleanliness. And I asked her, why, what is this cleanliness mania? She said, I have, I feel constantly everything is dirty. I touch, oh, this is dirty, oh, this is dirty. My clothes are dirty, everything is dirty. This, if I touch, it's dirty. There's a constant feeling that she is dirty and everything around is dirty. And that is what would cause the excessive desire for cleanliness. And also the dreams that she would get would also be like that of dirtiness. Very, very peculiar. You'll see a little bit of theme similar in Blata also. But this is specific. Dreams of dirty water. This is very important of uh, Muska. Very important remedy. They can be very, very fastidious. Mania for cleanliness. That is the thing with uh, the remedy muska. There is a lot of feeling in in, uh, in muska of feeling of um, being left alone and this is being left alone as if I am alone as if I don't have anyone with me as if I feel neglected is a very important theme of, of all the insects in fact. I have seen this quite often with many insect remedies that they have this feeling of, I don't have anyone, I'm alone, I'm neglected, I'm rejected. Very, very strong feeling that you will see. So this feeling of forsaken feeling is, is very important. There is a kind of theme of water. They either get dreams of water, fear of water. It's very strong. So this is a little bit about... Uh, the Muska Domestica which I want to tell you. Let's come to another remedy. Although it's not directly uh, insect remedy but it, it is a product of insects so I will talk to you about it. A, a remedy that we never think about. Milk comes sour. And this is a remedy actually, what I want to tell you. I, I learned this remedy from um, a, a homeopath. Uh, her name is Daksha Vaishnav. She also based in the America right now. And she was a homeopathic gynecologist where she would see many cases of fibroids, of uterine growths. And she taught me this remedy. And let me tell you a little bit about this remedy. It's actually honey. But especially in very bad cases of uterine prolapses chronic metritis with sub-involution and inflammation of cervix a lot of soreness, pain from hypopastrium, from ileum to ileum in uterine displacement this is a very important thing it's a remedy we are not using so much but remarkable, remarkable use and you can use this remedy with amazing results especially in prolapse 
one of the main feeling is as if the the bladder is full, and there's a constant feeling for pain from sacrum to pubis. This constant, constant feeling. A very, very interesting remedy. Very few homeopaths they use this remedy, but it's a very good pathological remedy, and I've used it very, very beautifully. So. what i want to now tell you about is let's let's study one of another case um of mine um here this is a case of asthma let's see so she is a 34 year old lady who came to see me and um, her main problem was asthma and uh, copd and this is quite common the copd uh obstructive pulmonary disorder in india and i was treating her with uh, the remedy calium carb for some time without much results so when i see there is no change in two months of treatment i want to analyze a little bit more i keep thinking how do i review this case one of the main things which i saw in this case was a lot of breathlessness but what i saw in breathlessness was whenever there is stress whenever she gets nervous especially at 3 am particularly at 3 am this is a very important aggravating factor particularly at 3 am she would get breathless and every day at same point she will get breathless especially when lying down she will get breathless especially aggravated by damp weather she will get breathless slightest weather change she will get breathless very interesting she was on inhaler steroids on pumps oxygen pumps which were not improving at all and this is when i started seeing her so i asked her can you describe me your nature and temperament and she describes her nature and temperament as someone who's very very aggressive very quarrelsome who fights at smallest of things she describes herself as someone who's very very fast she has to do things fast and she has to get things fast and if she doesn't get it she can fight she can quarrel she can hit anyone she not scared of anyone she says she says if anyone just tries to interfere with me i will screw them she says this is a very particular her her state of mind where if someone interferes with her she says she says if someone comes in my space i ask her what is your space she says if my space is my work is my house is my food if my mother in law comes in between of my space i will not leave her and i will say something so abusive that she will think twice before talking to me next time and her way of talking was full of animation full of mm, she said if i really get angry i can even hit someone she gets physical interesting she also have lot of fears of animals and particularly of insects big fears of insects at some point i started asking her about her childhood and she said especially in her childhood she was very possessive about her toys and about her things <clears throat> and i asked her what would she be especially possessive about and she said she would be possessive especially if someone takes something from her if her sister takes her toys she will get so angry so abusive so jealous she will start hitting she is very sensitive about the idea of her own things and if she doesn't get it she will complain she will scream she will shout she will not leave she wants to be very busy she says i ask her what is your interest she says i don't like to be idle i want to be busy i want to keep doing something she is she has a very high sexuality she says she says i keep thinking about sex 
I keep thinking about other one, other men. I even think about other women, and I can't remove that from my mind. This lot of sexuality. I cannot stop myself. I keep feeling like masturbation. She masturbates a lot, and she feels very guilty about it. She get dreams, and many recurrent dreams, and especially of insects. She cannot tolerate cold weather much, especially cold aggravates her, and uh, she doesn't have any particular cravings. She describes her cravings as very impulsive. She's a very impulsive personality. She says, "If I decide, I do it. I don't think much. I don't have much of brain. I decide, I do it." So her her speech also is very fast. She talks like, "Why, why, 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 And you'll be like, "Wow, stop it!" She keeps talking, very loquacious. So understanding all of this, I I understood that she is a person who's very shameless while she talks, very restless, very hurried, fast paced. She has very high sexuality, wants to be busy. So I realized she needs a remedy from the insect group, and she also has this you versus me. So understanding this, I I found a remedy, and I started checking the rubric. So I believe a lot in repertory and analyze step by step. And this is where I want to tell you, my friends, homeopathy is about exactness. You have to find the exact symptom, exact rubric, and you will see the results are remarkable. And I put this rubrics in the repertory. You can see asthma periodical, asthma weather change of aggravates, asthma nervous. So when you put this, and you can see the remedy that comes up is the remedy blata, which is interesting. Cockroach. And then I put all the other rubrics, and beautifully the case you can see, the jealousy, the easy laughing, the loquacity, the quarrelsomeness, the restlessness, the impatientness, and beautifully you can see the picture of blata. This is blata. This is the picture of blata. This is what we have to learn: how to find the exact symptom. And with the remedy blata, we also know the idea of insect energy, the busyness, the restlessness, the impatientness, the scolding, the aggressive, the jealousy. This is insect. So I gave her blata one m. and uh, she was on inhalers and everything and i used to give her blata 1m every month and within 6 month remarkable change she was so much better her asthma or breathlessness improved her tendency to have inhalers reduced i totally stopped that her sleep was better her impatient restlessness busyness reduced she says her fighting is is much lesser and she said now i look at my mother in law i feel she is my mother Her asthma reduced by ninety percent. This is the power of homeopathy, my friends. We have to learn it in the depth. Go to the depth. And I see at a daily level the results in homeopathy are so remarkable. So remarkable. So this is what I gave Blata an amazing change. And sometimes when patient come and tell you I am so much better, and you just see the results. you feel so fortunate that we are a homeopathic physician and i want to tell you this is one of the best fields in the world to be a homeopath you can change people's life you can change your own life you can change the way people perceive you can find give them peace and more importantly it helps you evolve also you start growing as a personality I remember myself about ten years back. I was this. I don't even want to remember who I was. I feel so evolved and more in touch with reality. So let's come to. We studied many many insect remedies today. So what are the main themes of insect remedy? Let's try to understand. They are remedies with very high impulsive sexuality. They want things fast. 
is very important for, for insect remedies. They cannot wait. They cannot stop. They want instant gratification. This is very important. They think very small. Eating, drinking, sleeping. That's it. They don't think about it. It's very restless. One of the things that you will see with them is speed. Very, very fast pace. You will see them in no time just doing things very fast. Very restless. Intense pace is a very important theme of the insect remedy. They have to be on the move. Their thoughts are like why 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 they can't think clear. They'll be talking to you, think going there, they'll be going there talking about something else, they will be just wandering. They are very difficult people to hang out with. But fun loving. Very fast rush flow of thoughts. Very talkative. And their way of talking is very fast. They keep talking, 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 talking. One of the patients, she would talk so much that I would have to tell her, why don't you take breath in between? Just take some time to breathe. You are just... God. They love traveling a lot. This is a very important feature of insect group traveling wanting to go here wanting to go there it's a very important feature of these remedies few important words that uh, you will see patients from this group talking is agility pace fast intense pace speed hyperactivity restless must be on the move, running, jumping, flying, wandering, loquacious, rush. And the main sensation of this group of remedies is burning. Anywhere, apis has burning in the skin, cantharis has burning in the urinary tract, blata has burning in the chest. So burning, stinging. They often give the sensation it is as if it is biting, it is stitching, as if needle, as if a bite. Shifting is also another phenomenon. Formica rufa will have this burning, stinging, biting pain in the joints. They will say, you know, one of the patients who require formica would tell me, I feel as if something is eating in my joint. So interesting how patients talk. You have to be open enough to listen to the patient. This is the beauty of homeopathy. The type of attack that they often speak about from insect group is, is often, often the idea of sudden attack. They often talk about fear of death and especially sudden death. For them everything is sudden. <gasps> everything is sudden. The miasm is often tubercular. It's, it's, a, it's a remedy from tubercular miasm. And in the tubercular miasm, there is very important. Most remedies from uh, this uh, group are from tubercular miasm. You will often see them having history of tuberculosis or recurrent cold coughs. How to differentiate it from reptiles? Think the Cunning and deceitfulness is more in reptiles. The kind of planning, plotting, thinking is more in reptiles than snakes. Insects are more impulsive, more fast paced. They are more living in just now, you can say. They can't think beyond tomorrow. Instant gratification is more insecta, shamelessness, sexuality. While in reptile, it is more long-term planning, plotting. Revenge is a very strong theme in reptiles. Clairvoyance is a very strong theme in reptiles. And the toxicity of reptiles. First of all, you have to understand that reptiles are syphilitic. 
to the toxicity and the type of pathology is different while in apis and in insect remedies the toxicology is different how to differentiate it with spiders also interesting no spiders well spiders belong quite close to insects actually i very often i i want to tell that um one can get very very closely differentiated but i think one of the main things about spiders is is the rhythmicity the patternness the kind of sensitivity to music a very important also thing about 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 spiders is i believe that insects have more restlessness and and the restlessness of insect is more sudden while the the spider it is more uh, you could see a kind of pattern uh, uh feeling also the feeling of of uh, sexuality is shameless sexuality in insects while lesser that in spider in spider everything is like a trap they they kind of feel like a trap and talking about the courtship spider most probably have one to one relationship so they will have one to one at one point but the insect can have many relationships so many patients who require insect as a remedy have like they are polygamous they believe polygamous is normal it's only about sexuality this is typically of of um, the remedy is belonging to insect so this is what i wanted to talk to you about uh, today about the insect remedies and this is my email id gorang@gmail.com please write to me what you thought about um how how you felt about um, the way of studying uh, the materia medica the way of studying uh, the insect remedies from the basics and then going slowly into the repertory then going slowly into um, the sensation then going slow how to go about it step by step is what i wanted to share um i have my own uh, youtube channel it's called as homeopathic hub and uh, this is the homeopathic channel it's on youtube and uh, i have more than uh, 100 videos on youtube and you can watch them free and write to me what you think about them and write to me it would be great to uh, keep in touch and um, when some of you come to india do visit my clinic in mumbai um there is one small video which i want to share with you let's see if i have it here let's see how to study materia medica so this is a small video you can watch this on youtube and uh, tell me so i think we have some time and i always want to make use of time because i think it's uh, interesting so let's let's see uh, let's see what i have for you we'll we'll play a small small exercise here you have to guess the remedy all right so i'm going to 
now uh, tell you different different symptoms in fact um, because most of the remedies from this uh, family are very important remedies for allergies and coughs i thought that i will teach you how every remedy's cough is different so let's try to do that i will try to share with you how my patients are giving the symptoms and you have to tell me the remedy all right i can't hear you okay no problem so let's start first mm all right this patient comes to you and tells you that doctor i get lot of cough and he says i keep getting <coughs> <coughs> cough but the thing is there is some metallic taste in the mouth when i cough but whenever i eat something solid like if i have a burger my cough goes away very interesting so what do you think is the remedy all right so this is the remedy cupra metallicum cough eating ameliorated by something solid this is the way i i find out the remedies and this is very important cupram has a cough always better by eating something solid and also by drinking cold water this is a very important symptom of cupram and uh, another thing which i have seen with cupram especially children is that when they cough their face can get blue another very very peculiar thing about um about cupram one of the patient who did very well on cupram was whenever the patient would cough the patient would get unconscious so cough with loss of consciousness cupram metallicum this is very important interesting get ready for the next one now all right so this is another case this patient this lady she would come to me for breathlessness and she would say whenever she coughs <coughs> she would feel some sharp object is here some sharp object is here and she would constantly drink something and she would say if i drink something warm my cough gets better which remedy is this all right so you can see this kind of sibilant dry something driven inside spongia and this is the symptom of spongia cough abates after eating or drinking especially warm drinks very important this is a remedy you should know and also aggravated by sweet so if you get children who have sweet candies and develop cough spongia medorhinum bardiaga remember interesting and let's go to the next this patient comes to you constant coughing but the main thing is the cough is <laughs> whenever he has to cough he has to hold himself which remedy is this all right so this remedy is the remedy drosera what is written let's see cough holding the hypochondrium drosera hold himself drosera remember contraction from abdomen drosera another patient this patient comes with cough and what is happening in the cough cough is especially he feels very very tired and what is the type of cough So you can see this cough, sudden isolated corallium rubrum, very interesting remedy. Here. Minute gone cough, interesting. Another patient comes and tells you that slightest air condition, slightest air causes me cough. So slightest air cannot tolerate. So this is which remedy? This is Rumex. who cannot tolerate slightest air in cough cough worse from changing air or air condition in the room remember this remedy. very important remedy. rumex always gets cough from here and they always have to keep something on the nose so that the air doesn't fall on them interesting cough after so this person who comes to me has a lot of rattling <laughs> but there is a lot of anger after this the cough started what do you think is the remedy it's a very common remedy cough after anger antimony tart think of this remedy post anger okay this patient coughs and after cough sneezing something like <coughs> achi <coughs> achi this is senega 
cough often ends in sneeze rattling like antimony tarts sinega and this is especially in old people this is very important remedy this patient comes to you tells you he has continuous cough <laughs> better by drinking cold water this i taught you this is the remedy cocos cacti okay let's come to the next this patient coughs especially dry at night <coughs> and due to a tiring day they have a very tiring exerting day and they develop cough at night sticta dry cough at night cough when tired sticta remember last last for today patient comes with cough but the very important thing is there is a lot of breathlessness <gasps> and when they lie down or if they eat anything there is breathlessness what's the remedy think the remedy is antim ars emphysema with lot of dyspnea aggravated eating and dying antim ars so this is what i wanted to share with you and uh, i really had a good time uh, talking to you and i hope we keep in touch and i hope uh, we discuss more and at some point we meet and we also have um, i can show you more cases i have done lot of research in thyroid cases in polycystic ovarian cases in repertories at some point we'll sit and we will uh, discuss so many more things this is my email id write to me this is my homeopathic hub the channel youtube channel and i want to thank lori to inviting me to talk and it's a absolute pleasure uh, thank you so much lori to invite me and uh, write to me again thank you